Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Welcome back to the channel. I'm getting really excited with this 1ZZ rebuild because she's really coming together. In episode 3, we installed the piston rod assemblies into the block. Episode 4 starts with the oil strainer, oil filter union, oil filter, the knock sensor, oil pressure switch, thermostat, and the engine coolant drain union. Then we finish with the big ticket items, oil pump, head gasket, cylinder head, camshafts, and the camshaft bearing caps. Enjoy the video and let me know how I'm doing in the comments. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Recall I removed the studs for the oil strainer and oil pan prior to cleaning the block. Recall I sent my block and cylinder head to the machine shop. The block was decked and opened to 79.5 millimeters. The cylinder head was rebuilt, meaning it was fly cut to ensure a super flat mounting surface. The valves and seats were machined and lapped in. The guides and seals were replaced. And instead of purchasing a bunch of different valve lifters, I had the valve tops machined to ensure the proper valve clearance. Lastly, I marked all of the valve lifters just in case they fell out and they got mixed up. When I install cylinder heads, I like to get low so I can verify the alignment of the dowel pins with the cylinder head. Here are my head bolts soaking. They're just soaking in some Mobile One 10W30 and all the bolts are soaked in there and just past the threads is where the, how high the oil goes up. And what I did was I just stick the washer on there and then I'm gonna take the other end, I'm gonna dunk it in there. This side's already wet. I guess if you wanna dunk it again, you can. And that guy's all set for installation, but that's how I do it. Ensure the washers are seated properly and run the cylinder head bolts down by hand. This method prevents cross-threading. Okay, adding a little bit of lube. I already did those guys. Let's do these. Lubricate the camshaft journals and valve lifters. 
Note, avoid lubricating the interface between the cylinder head and camshaft bearing caps. The longer camshaft is the intake camshaft. Place the two camshafts on the cylinder head with the number one cam lobes facing as shown in the illustration. Lubricate the camshaft bearing caps. Install the camshaft bearing caps. Ensure the arrows are pointing to cylinder one and on the correct side, either intake or exhaust. We are definitely getting closer. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button because episode five is coming out soon. In episode five, we continue the 1ZZ rebuild with the oil control valve, camshaft sprockets, timing chain, front cover, and the water pump. This is AJ with Relentless Racing. Stay relentless and I'll see you on the track.